Today we discuss the Serrata gyrus darlingi. Is it a top tarantula for you? Is it a top tarantula for me? Keep watching to see what I score this beautiful animal. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So folks, today we are discussing the Ceratogyrus darlingi. Now, the genus name is pronounced different ways by different people. This is just how I say it. Now, I normally would put an enclosure up on here for you to see, but she has actually got two enclosures on top of hers and they're quite heavy. So I've injured my back a little bit. I've been actually painting the shelves. You might have seen, might have seen it in the last video. My shelves are actually gray now. The shelf piece itself, not just the rims. They were always gray. Um, and that's because I am working on where I'm upgrading my enclosures. I'm also going to be putting in LED lights and I thought the grey was a bit more reflective, a bit lighter, a bit cleaner looking. So that's the only reason I haven't put her enclosure up here for you to see. But it is a large enclosure, it is about this in width and it is about this in depth. It is a big enclosure for her. Now some of the clips you will see is her in her previous much much smaller home so don't base it on the acrylic lid enclosure that you see here base it on the larger spanning enclosure so a bit of backstory about this darlingi i cannot actually remember for the life of me which show it was that i got this darlingi i think i think it might have been at a brighton invert show because I was wanting to get into that genus at that sort of time scale. So we're going back a few years now. So that's that's your kind of backstory of that one. It was a, a Brighton Invert show, which I think is Southern. Is that Southern Invert show, Brighton? I don't remember, you guys comment me below. Now I'm not massively into my Africans anymore, but I was at the time, and she has been a fantastic spider to me all the way through. Now, you may have seen previous videos where I said I'm selling a few of the teas, especially some Africans. She is not going to be one for sale. I absolutely adore this tarantula. So the categories we're going to discuss for tarantulas are very similar to what we did for the centipede. It's going to be appearance, visibility, feeding response, cost, but instead of size, for tarantulas we're going to do behavioural characteristics. So I could, I could do that on, on defensive stances, on on how calm they are. I'm going to base it species to species on how I kind of rate that one. So, appearance of the Stratagyrus darlingi. Now I don't have any footage of it of a mature male, but I have had a mature male. They're dinky and quite boring looking spiders, if I'm honest with you. But this one here, my adult female, I think she is beautiful. So she has those kind of grey tones, maybe a little bit darker on the femurs as well, but almost, almost kind of burgundy hairs, really fine ones coming off of the legs and abdomen that you don't normally see with the eye but can pick up on the camera. Um, I, she's almost kind of marble effect on the abdomen, almost. I can't quite get the right word for it, but for me, it's almost a marble effect put there with their lighter and darker greys. But the main feature of this genus, or not all of them in this genus, actually, but most of them, is the horn. So you might see videos referring to unicorn tarantulas. That will be this genus. Now the darlingi do have a horn. Now for the purpose of this horn, I don't actually know. I don't think anyone truly knows. There are theories behind it, but I'm not going to go into them because I don't have factual information about the horns. But this makes them so interesting, so different to many other spiders in the world. And I love it. I love that kind of horn. But because they are just kind of monotone coloration, I think I'm going to go for about a 6 out of 10 on this. And I think if there were no horn, we'd be scoring more like a 3 or 4. Now, don't get me wrong. I still think she's absolutely stunning. But when I've got to base her appearance on many other species here, I that's where my scoring might seem a little bit lower. But a 6 out of 10 is still past your mediocre mark, and that is because of that horn. I think the Darlingis are beautiful. Next, we're going on to visibility. 
visibility, meaning how often you see this tea. Now, when she was in her acrylic enclosure that was not the appropriate size at the time, she'd actually molted very big into there and it took me a little while longer than I should have. I hold my hands up to rehouse her. But when she was in that one, obviously I could see her through the acrylic. She kind of had made a sort of web tunnel down the side and inward so I could see her reasonably often. Now she's in a much more suitable housing, I can't see her at all. She spends 90% of the time down and burrow and only really comes up for feeds. I don't even see her that often at night. However, when she was a juvenile, she actually used to be out quite a bit more. She used to jump out a lot at feeding, which is the next category, which I'll explain in a minute, but she was always coming out for food. So the visibility was pretty good. Um, but as she's got bigger, she seems to actually be eating a bit less now. She slowed down with that. Perhaps it's because of her home is much more comfortable. Um, that I just really don't see this girl as much as I'd like to. So I'm only going to score her a 2 out of 10 on that. I know that's really low, but I've got to base it on how I see it now. I think if she was in that lesser suitable enclosure for longer, the scoring might have been double that, but that's not fair because she wasn't in the, the correct depth of an enclosure. So now we're going to move on to feeding response, what I really wanted to touch up on now. In this clip that you'll see here, she doesn't actually take the worm. And that's because about two or three weeks after I recorded this clip, she actually molted. Um, so she's she was already adult female, but she has molted again. These female tarantulas can continue to do that, whereas mature males very rarely molt again. And if they do, they often die in the process. Although there are a few stories I've heard where they have survived. So she wasn't really in the mood for food, but you can see how receptive she was that there was something there that she shot out of that burrow. So although I'm not doing very well with providing you guys feeding clips, I promise you they will be coming with other species, you still got to see that response, right? And because of her juvenile ways, how she was most of her life being very food responsive, I am gonna give her a seven out of 10. Um, I think I would have stuck her more like a 9 out of 10 of how she, she was in her juvenile days. But as she slowed down a little bit now, and obviously it's only been a recent molt, so it might well pick back up again. But I'm going to leave it at 7 through my personal scoring for how things are at the moment. But I tell you what, if you want a tea that's going to snatch and grab, you might not see it that much. But if you really want to enjoy a takedown from a tea, then I promise you... Although it may not look at my footage, a darlingy is definitely one for you. And they're pretty simple to care for too. So next we're moving on to cost. What do you guys think? Maybe some of you guys are not experienced or tarantula savvy. What do you think a darlingy would cost? Now I got her as a juvenile. I can't remember how much I paid for her exactly. But I'm going to tell you my scoring now is a whopping biggest score we've had so far in this. A 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 because Darlingi are not an expensive species to get hold of. They are readily available and easily bred. Spiderlings you can pick up for 3 or £4. Pounds. That cheap. Now juveniles, I can't remember a price, but you're not looking any more than about 20 quid, I'd say. Probably more, maybe a 15 mark. Larger juveniles, maybe a little bit more. And adults, I, I don't actually know. But you're going to still be under the 50 quid mark, I would presume, for an adult darlingy. Maybe a bit more for an adult female. Again, I'm not sure. I don't really see adults readily available. But for slings being at that price, they are dirt cheap. And I know I didn't have a huge amount of money at that show when I bought her. Therefore, she must have been a pretty cheap price. So whopping 9 out of 10 for price. So if you want a spider that's got a good feeding response, you may not see it that much, but is going to give you entertainment, is, is semi-beautiful, has that unique horn, and is dirt cheap, darling, he might be one for you. So next we're going to discuss um, behavioural characteristics. Now I'm going to give her a 7 out of 10 on behavioural characteristics and I'm basing that on the fact that she was a cracking eater and how she was very very responsive to food on the web. She would shoot out and she wouldn't just shoot out and go back in, she would stay out, she would have a little walk around, see what is going on here. But she has never 
threat posed me never threat posed me and when she's out and about if I pick up the enclosure she's not as quick to shoot off as some of her tarantulas she has often stayed out when I've picked up an enclosure even when she was in one that was a little too small for her she never threat posed me there she never really ran away from me there either so it couldn't have been as bad as I think I'm just kind of self-doubtful and judging myself a bit for having her in there a little too long but this spider overall has an attitude but not an aggressive attitude a food responsive attitude and has that kind of i'm the boss i'm walking around there's nothing you can do about it attitude and when you catch glimpses i'm sorry i don't have a clip of this but when you're looking down the burrow and you see the legs and the glint of the eyes it's still a fantastic thing to look at it's still that kind of yeah what you're gonna do kind of look it's really fantastic so she may not have the most attitude in the world but she certainly has enough to score a seven from me so guys this has been the second video recording for top invertebrate this one being this ratogyrus darlingy with my adult female specimen let me know what you thought of this video how are these videos going this was actually recorded directly after the centipede one so i have not had time to research look back at your thoughts on that video which is why this one might come across the same so i might be able to record another one or two before the centipede one comes out or this one comes out so it will take me a while to gauge your responses to see if these videos are really something you are going to enjoy. So I would be very grateful if each one of these videos, you do comment below and let me know your thoughts on them. Let me know if there's a way I can improve. Let me know if you like them as they are. And I know I've failed so far on feeding shots for you, but I promise that won't be the case on all animals here. So I'm going to call it now, guys. I look forward to reading your responses from my top invertebrate videos from the prolonged full collection tour here in the realm. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye bye. Do you guys want to see what else dwells in the realm? If so, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. My usual upload days are Wednesdays and Sundays, so I'll see you guys there. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to become a disciple of the realm and have your name shown on the screen like these lovely people, you can do so in one of two ways. You can scroll down the screen now and hit that join button next to the subscribe to be a channel member. Or alternatively, you can follow my link in the description below to my Patreon page. Both methods grant you access to my private Facebook page, where we like to discuss even more things creepy crawly. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.